Welcome once more. We have a logarithmic uh, equation to solve here. It, we have two equations that we're supposed to solve simultaneously. We are required to solve for x and y, given that xy is equal to 80 and log x minus 2y is equal to 1. Let's see how we can solve this uh, problem. Let's see how we can solve uh, this problem. xy is equal to 80. Let's call that equation number 1. And log x minus 2 log y is equal to 1. Let's call that equation number 2. From equation 1, we can make y or x the subject. If you make x the subject, we can divide both sides by y. And therefore, x will be equal to 80 over y. Then we can substitute this in equation 2. So in equation 2, we're going to have log x. Instead of x, we're going to have 80 over y minus 2 log y is equal to 1. We can introduce logarithms on both sides. So on this side, we introduce logarithms and the logarithm of 10 to base 10 is 1. So we're going to use log 10 instead of 1 here so that both sides are similar. Both sides are for logarithms now. All right? So the next step would be log 80 divided by y minus 2 log y becomes log y squared will be equal to log 10, okay? And from the laws of logarithms, we know that given log A divided by B, we take the logarithm of A minus the logarithm of B. So we're going to rewrite this expression here in this form. So we're going to have the next step, the logarithm of 80 over y, all right, divided by the log by y squared, divided by y squared will be equal to the logarithm of 10. And therefore, we're going to have log 80 over y divided by y squared is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of y squared will be equal to log 10. And therefore, log 80 over y times y squared is y cubed will be equal to log 10. Then we can conclude that 80 over y cubed would be equal to 10. We can remove the logarithms now and use the numbers. All right? And y cubed will be given by 80 divided by 10. And therefore y cubed is 80 divided by 10 is Eight. So to find the value of y, we find the cube root. We find the cube root of eight, which will be two. So the value of y is two, and since we have got the value of y, we can now find the value of x. Since we know that x is eight divided by y, therefore x will be equal to eighty divided by two, which is equal to. 40. And those are the solutions to this question. X will be 40 and Y will be 2.